the last couple of days, I've been reading through the book of Hebrews again. And I've really been struck with one of the final instructions that the writer brings to the church. He writes a scripture and it talks about having a sacrifice of praise. I just want to talk for a few moments tonight what that means. So it says in Hebrews 13, chapter 15, it says, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And you see, the term sacrifice of praise might seem to be something of an opposite. We think of sacrifice as offering something at great cost to ourselves. But praise, on the other hand, sounds joyful as it bubbles from a grateful heart. However, in the spiritual realm, sacrifice and praise are intertwined. You see, praise does not always cost us something. I mean, we praise our dogs for, uh, for fetching a ball. We praise people for doing a great job. We praise our kids when they do something amazing and accomplishments. Praise is often our response to an action that directly benefits us, something that's going well. We feel generous because we extend it. We often find it easy to praise God from this motivation. When things are going well, when life is going good, when our job is steady, when we have income, when our family is healthy, when things look bright, it's easier to bring praise and adoration to God. At least I find that in my life. However, this is where the writer of Hebrews encourages us. And this is where that sacrifice of praise comes into play. And so you see that when God blesses us, helps us, protects us, we feel generous towards him. We want to praise. We can sing, worship, talk about how good he is because we can see it. We can feel it we can acknowledge, wow, it is good. (laughs) However, that kind of praise is worthwhile, but it doesn't cost us anything. It's not really a sacrifice. But then what happens when there are those times when God does not come through how we think he should, or the medical test comes back positive? When we're having marital problems, when a child is wayward, when our mortgage company calls in for the loan, when we lose our jobs, God could possibly seem very far away. And sometimes praise is the last thing to bubble up from our hearts. We can't always see his goodness with our eyes. And the circumstances scream out that maybe he's forgotten us. However, To praise God in those times requires sacrifice. It takes an action of our will to lay down our all on the altar before God when we don't understand what's going on. When we bring a sacrifice of praise, we choose to believe that even though life isn't going as we think it should, God is still good and still to be trusted When we choose to praise God in spite of storms, he is honored and our faith just grows deeper in him. You see, the command in Hebrews 13, 15 says that this sacrifice is to be offered continually. Our praise of God is not based on our opinion of his job or his performance or how we think he is doing. (laughs) Praise cannot be treated as a reward to God, as if you do something good for me and then I will praise you. But no, no, we give praise to God no matter what. Isaiah 29, 13 says, People come to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are so far from me. You see, real praise continues regardless of our circumstances. It flows continually from a worshiping heart in good times and in bad times. And so a sacrifice of praise comes from a humble heart 
has been purified and realizes that God is sovereign no matter what. It rises from a spirit that's chosen to honor God in spite of pain that life might be causing. Psalms 51, 16, 17 expresses this idea when it says, you do not delight in sacrifice or else I would bring it. You do not pleasure in burnt offerings, but my sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart to you. God, you will not despise. So I want to encourage you with that idea that right now, as we well are aware, there are many people who have lost their jobs. There are people within our own congregation who have tested positive for COVID-19 and maybe life is just not how we think it should be but I want to encourage you again this is the time to praise him it's so easy to praise when things are going well but I encourage you There are many times as I've been leading worship on Sundays, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a struggle, but it definitely feels different. (laughs) But you know what? We praise God. We remember who he is. We We remember his faithfulness, his goodness, his steadfast love, his provision. And so I just want to bless and encourage you to, uh, to take to heart this scripture And to think about this. And I hope that maybe I've just kind of stirred your thinking and stirred your heart to bring a sacrifice of praise. I pray you're blessed this week and you keep well, keep safe. And uh, we'll see you on Sunday at our Zoom church meeting. We love you. Can't wait to be able to encourage you again. Take care.